Hi, I'm Avert, and this is the NVC Show. In this show, I want to give you tips that could help make your social life and love life easier and way more fun. NVC stands for Nonviolent Communication, which I'm actually not very happy about because every time I use that name, the other person goes like, uh, but I'm not a very violent person. And you're not, and I'm not trying to say that you are. So I actually prefer to use Compassionate or Connecting Communication, but for this channel I'm gonna stick with the official name for it because that's what you need to google if you want to find more information. I got to know about NVC about two or three years ago. A good friend of mine told me about it and he did an NVC exercise with me. During the exercise I noticed how our connection that we already had uh, suddenly became deeper and more meaningful. So that's how it caught my attention. Then later when I was doing courses myself I saw how uh, NVC could help transform anger into understanding and then even into compassion. And that's when I completely fell in love with it. So now my dream is to make this information easily available for everyone, for free. And that's why I started this, this channel, where I intend to uh, explain NVC in videos that are concise and entertaining. In this first video, I just want to show you what NVC can do. I want to give you an example of how using NVC can help to connect with someone in a difficult situation. So imagine a boyfriend and a girlfriend, Matt and Sarah, they're at a birthday party together. And at the birthday party, uh, Matt, to his pleasant surprise, sees his ex-girlfriend, Nicole. And they are very good friends, but they haven't seen each other for a while, so now they're super happy to see each other, because they want to catch up on things. Now, Matt is getting very caught up in this conversation with Nicole. And in the meantime, Sarah is standing next to, the, to them, feeling quite shocked because she didn't know that they got along so well. So while she's watching them talk, a lot of emotions are starting to boil inside of her. Uh, so how do you imagine this conversation might go on the way back home? In the first example, I want to show you how it might go if they do not have any NVC skills. Is there... Something wrong? No, of course not. Why would there be anything wrong? Well, I, I can see something's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. Well, you and Nicole were really happy to see each other, weren't you? What do you mean? Yes, I haven't seen her in a long time, so I wanted to talk to her. Hey, what's the big deal? Come on, I saw how you were looking at her. What are you talking about? We are just friends, nothing more. Can I spend some quality time with old friends? Well, you didn't seem to want to spend any quality time with me. Ah, uh, you can't live without my attention for just one second. Is that it? No. Just... It's just what? Huh? What is it then? So obviously, Sarah is feeling angry and hurt. And Matt uh, thinks he's under attack and he's trying to defend himself. While instead, Sarah actually just needs someone who can listen to all her feelings. So I'm gonna magically give Matt some NVC skills. And in particular, I'll give him the awareness that he didn't do anything wrong. He doesn't need, need to defend himself. And everything that Sarah is saying is only an expression of what's going on inside of her. And has nothing to do with him. Now watch how the conversation will go. Are you feeling okay? No. What's the matter? You were really quite happy to see your ex, weren't you? Did that make you feel uncomfortable? Of course it did. You were talking to her all night long, and you completely forgot about me. Would you have liked some... some more attention from me? <laughs> no, that's not it. Are you afraid that there's... something going on between Nicole and me? Yes. Do you want to know if I have feelings for her? Yes, but don't lie to me. Sarah, are you afraid that I might say something that is not really true because I want to make you feel better? Yes. OK. 
Okay. I want to be fully honest. So let me check. Um, yes. I was very happy to see her tonight. After we broke up, we stayed very good friends and I appreciated her very much as a friend. Sarah, just like, just like I appreciate Tim. I lost contact with her for a while, which is why I was so happy to see her tonight. But I never, ever want to have a relationship with her anymore because that didn't work at all. And besides, I'm so happy with our relationship and with you that I really don't have a wish for anything else right now. Really? Yes, really. In fact, I, I kind of like that you were feeling a bit jealous because that means I'm valuable to you. Isn't it beautiful how the energy in the conversation completely changed? Uh, so NVC can already make a big difference is if only one of the participants has the skill. But seriously, if both people have the skill then it's just magical. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. NVC is not only about your relationships with other people, it's also about your relationship with yourself. Because every time you're thinking you are talking to yourself, you are having an inner dialogue. So you can imagine that if you learn to speak more kindly towards yourself, that has a great effect on how you feel about yourself, which in turn has an effect on how compassionate you can be towards the outside world. That's it for today, but there's much more to come. In the next video, I'll start explaining the thought process behind NVC. But first I want to know, are there any specific situations that you struggle with? Because if there are, please tell me in the comments and I might address that specific situation in a future video. If you want to learn more then I recommend you subscribe to this channel and if you want to support me then please send this video to everyone you think might be interested. Well thank you for watching and sharing your time with me and I hope to see you soon. Peace! <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.